Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Raja from IIT Madras. I am an MS scholar in the Department of Electrical Engineering. So this video is about uh, IES uh, SRFP or FASTF Fellowship 2023. So its result has been finally declared by the Academy. And I hope many of you have been selected for this prestigious scholarship. And if even if you are not selected, there is no issue. You will get many such more uh, many more such opportunity in the future. You just have to give you hundred percent. Even in the first attempt, I was not selected. I was selected in my second attempt. So do not lose uh, lose your hope. So in this video, I am going to tell you about post selection procedure. What you have to do after your selection. What formalities uh, you have to complete uh, to get. The final certificate and what are the facilities, stipends, accommodation, all related, all queries related to this, I will be covered in this. I will be covered in this video, uh, and even if I was not able to cover any any aspect, uh, please let me know in the comment section, and please free to ask uh, in the comment section. I will be very happy to answer your query. So without wasting your time, let us start this video. So let's so this is uh, as you can see uh, my selection letter. This selection letter you will get uh, from the academy through post as well email uh, in some days. Probably you will get it in the last week of uh, last week of April or in the first week of May. And even if you do not get this selection letter, you do not need to worry. You just have to uh, commence or start your uh, internship. So this is the selection letter you will get through email as well. So in this, you will uh, get to know uh, a lot of details. So let me tell you. Uh, as you can see here, it is written 15 April, but you will get by the end of April or by the end of May only. So as you can see here, so duration of fellowship is eight weeks. Actually, in my case, it is COVID, but in general, it is eight weeks only. Eight weeks means uh, two months approx. So and you will also get uh, TA means uh, travel allowance and travel allowance will be of sleeper only. You will get sleeper class train fare from your place of residence. So whatever place you have filled during the application time to your uh, institute uh, the, of guide uh, where you uh, where you are required to work, you will get a train fare from that. Uh, you will uh, you have to fill the TA form and accordingly you will get your uh, train fare. And this is written quite clearly. You will get twelve thousand five hundred per month towards your boarding, lodging, and transport expenses means you will not get any extra stipend, extra amount uh, uh, apart from this. You will get only 12,500 means in total it is about uh, 25,000. So um, you have to cover uh, all your expenses related to boarding, lodging, accommodation in 12, uh, 25,000 only. And and for KVPI and Inspire Fellowship, you will be covered by separate arrangement. and. Uh, details of which I even I do not know. So you can further inquire at me regarding this. And it is quite written quite clearly as regards accommodation. Please contact Dr. Sarma, means my guide, as the academy is not able to help you in this regard. Means academy will not provide you accommodation. You have to arrange your accommodation to yourself, or you have to ask your guide to arrange accommodation. Means you have to. Uh, arrange accommodation by yourself only. I have, I have received some comments regarding accommodation. So please be clear regarding accommodation. You have to arrange yourself. And after receiving this selection letter through post and email, you have to communicate your expect acceptance that uh, uh, you are accepting this fellowship. So we urge you to uh, convey your expect expect expectation acceptance of this fellowship within seven days by both online means you will get user ID and ID and password at the bottom of the bill. Means when you will receive the selection letter, they will also provide you one user ID and password and one portal link. You have to log in there through user ID and password. You have to fill your some details. And uh, along with that, you have to communicate your acceptance of this fellowship. 
and apart from that you have to return the form of expectation acceptance uh, posted to you apart from that you have to communicate by mail to this uh, srfp at the rate is dot ac dot in or means fellowship at the rate uh, is dot ac dot in or fsdsf with a cc to your guide and and i will suggest you to communicate with your guide uh, well in advance means uh, when you will know that you are, have been selected for this fellowship you can directly communicate to your guide uh, by the next week or uh, by the uh, upcoming week maybe in the first week of april they will be very happy to help you and one more important thing that um, the list of which is published in the uh, ias website is not final they will update the list uh, quite regularly so i will suggest you to please keep checking it maybe your name will come in some uh, some days if it is not yet appeared uh, apart from that it is written that you will uh, uh, it is suggested that yeah, srf fellow will be covered by personal health and accident insurance policy during the period of summer training but uh, you can ignore this this is not much important but if you want you can uh, insure yourself through insurance policy but it is not much important so you can see this the instruction for the summer research fellows so first main important thing you have to accept the fellowship and for that i have already told you that you have to accept through email through user id and login and password you have to communicate in the online portal and as well as through the post so selection letter has been sent by email a hard copy is also sent by speed post right and user id and passwords are provided to you and should be conveyed urgently within seven days so please make sure that you will convey the your acceptance within seven days only and it is written quite clearly do not wait for the approval from your guide to send your acceptance form so uh, you can send your acceptance form directly without waiting approval from guide yeah and after this extending the acceptance you please contact your guide to fix up the exact date of joining plus uh, but uh, uh, according to me you have to you can contact your guide well in advance before uh, this uh, before sending acceptance means if you if you want to accept the fellowship and you want to work with your guide you can contact your guide uh, uh, well before in advance maybe in the first week of it so this accept exact date should be communicated to us by email or online means you have to also communicate the starting date when you will start the fellowship you have to uh, can communicate this also in the online portal as well as by email and one more important thing that you have to uh, paste your two copies of photograph which should be enclosed and one copy should be accept uh, affixed to the letter acceptance so one copy of photograph should be pasted uh, to acceptance letter and one copy should be enclosed along with the, the post and apart from that after joining after acceptance letter you have to send your joining letter which should be also posted to academy duly counter uh, counter signed by the guide as soon as the srf reports for work means first you have to send your acceptance letter then after that you have to send the joining letter whenever you are joining the fellowship and that joining date should be also communicated uh, in the portal as well as through email to the srfp and other important thing it is a period of work should not be less than 56 days means you have to work at least for 28 days but i will suggest uh, work, uh, yeah you have to work at least for two months but i will suggest you uh, uh, what is this yeah it should not be less than 56 days maybe not less than two months but due to covid 19 pandemic which is in my case you can work at least for six weeks but i will suggest you please work for at least uh, two months or if, if possible you can work for three months you will not get such opportunity again in the future so uh, you will not know uh, you do not have to miss this opportunity and other important thing which many of you will uh, ignore that you cannot uh, uh, take the fellowship of this fellowship and uh, any other fellowship at the same time 
in, in case you are doing this, uh, that enemy fellowship will be treated and withdrawn and necessary action will be taken. So please uh, avoid doing this. And if the SRF in the, is in receipt of the KVP or Inspire fellowship, this should be specifically indicated in the form of acceptance. So uh, if you are KVP or Inspire fellow, fellow, so please be honest and write in the acceptance form. And this is the uh, correspondence address. This is the CS Ravi Kaur, which is the coordinator of this science education program. And this is the address. You have to send the, your letters to this address. And apart from that, you have to mention your full name, application number, name of guide clearly so that your uh, post will not be missed. Apart from that, yeah, this is also very important progress report. There are two progress reports. One is four week report and other is an eight week report. So you have to, uh, your four, uh, four week report must be written and submitted using the link sent to you by Author Cafe. Since, yeah, previously they are using Author Cafe, and, but I don't know what they are using right now. But you have to send your four week report through hard copy as well as through a soft copy. So uh, when you send your four week report, um, your TA amount and I think your first month fellowship will be given to you. And after eight week report, your full amount means uh, 12,500 remaining amount will be given to you. And you have to also approve your four week report through your guide. And maybe they have started again the author cafe. I don't know exactly, but in my case, I have to submit, uh, uh, I had submitted my four week report through post and uh, by uploading in the online user portal. Yeah, this is clearly written. You have to submit your hard copy as well. After writing the reports on author cafe portal, uh, candidates are requested to generate prints out of both four week and six or eight week reports and submit them along with the submission format. And there is one uh, front page format. Uh, I will show it to you. You have to attach it as well. And uh, the other important thing, which is payment or the stipend. So, and this will be made through electronic transfer to the bank account. So please make sure that you uh, write your bank account very accurately and please make sure that uh, you have checked it at least two times. I have seen that many of you write wrong bank account details and uh, further tell that you do not receive the amount. So please do not do this and you will get within 10 working days. So please have patience and wait for this. And the fellowship paid is for SRF living expenses, boarding, lodging, and this should be settled by SRF directly. Again, we will not pay any amount to the host institution towards boarding and lodging. So all amount will be paid to you only. Uh, they will not pay to any institute. And to claim the travel fare, which is TA amount, SRF should send along with the final report at TA bill in the prescribed form and photocopies of to and fro uh, travel tickets. So uh, yeah, this TA bill you have to send along with your final report, means you will get your TA amount at the end of your fellowship along with your uh, second month fellowship. And along with that, this TA bill, I will show the format and you have to enclose the photocopy of to and fro travel tickets. So if you want to claim this uh, travel amount, you can do. And you are welcome to travel by air or any higher class in train as per your convenience. But reimbursement will be strictly to second class sleeper train fare only and three tire AC train for teachers. So please make sure that yeah, even if you're traveling by uh, aeroplane or higher class, you will get only sleeper train fare. They should give more amount, but uh, they are giving only sleeper no issue and this is the form of acceptance you can see that you have to write your application number name name of guide name of guide institution and i accept this fellow so you have to the tick mark in here and even if you're not able to accept in many cases you are not able to accept the summer fellowship due to any reason you have to communicate by email with the cc to your guide and you have to mention the reason as well and to send this uh, acceptance letter also, even if you are not accepting, and I have taken a personal health insurance, it is mandatory here. It and you can just take yes, even if you have not taken. This is not uh, very important. I am a recipient of Inspire or KVP fellowship, and the tenure of my fellowship is from this year. And if you are uh, Inspire KVP fellow, you have to return very clearly here. 
and you have to play a uh, affix your photograph photo here and i am sending two copies of my stem cell photograph right and i undertake to work for minimum 42 or 56 but in your case it is only 56 you have to work with 56 days with my uh, your guide you have to sign here and date you have to mention your address like that. and this is the joining report this is the address i have been offered an academic summer fellowship to work with your guide and this is the institution name I have taken this summer fellowship real and virtual. So in your case, it is real only with effect from you have to mention the joining date and I have reported to my guide. I undertake to work for minimum period of 56 days. And here you have to give your bank details. Apart from that, you, you have to give your bank details in the online portal as well. So please write your bank details like that very clearly. And you have to attach your bank passbook or bank uh, cancelled bank check as well so that uh, they can verify your bank details. You have to sign name, date like that. And you have to take the signature or approval from guide as well. So please make sure your guide give approval to your joining report. And this is the format for four week report, which you have to attach in the front of your four week report. And if you, are, uh, if you do not know how to write the four week report, a lot of four week report or final week report uh, are already available in the internet even in the website official website of is you can look into this and this is not so much difficult if you are working very sincerely you can easily prepare your four week report or final week report and name of candidate application registration number commencement date mode of work like that and place of stay during the tenure of fellowship the hostel provided by guide owner as well it does not matter they will not give you the amount you you just have to mention it and this is all such thing all formality you can fill up this yeah this four week report could be between 300 and 350 words means the four week report uh, you do not have to write much you just have to write two or three pages i think so you just have to tell what are you planning to do in the upcoming means and what you have done already and you have to give uh, details of this uh, in proper format you can see the uh, available four week report in the internet a lot of four week reports are already available and this is like this and this is the format of final week report it is quite similar um, yeah this is project title you have to provide the project title and this is the address uh, here you will get your certificate and this is the date of completion you have to mention the date of completion total number of days work date of commencement of work TA form attached with the along with final report like that and this is the what TA your tier bill you can see this you have to mention the details in this if you do not have TA bill I can provide you Please let me know in the comment section. And some case, uh, yeah, some case academy also are in the summer uh, your residency at the fellows residency. So for that, this is the some exception. I will not go through it because of yeah. If you have been allotted to. IAC, NCBS, and JNCASR, maybe they will provide you accommodation at fellows residency. So for more information, you have to communicate to your guide or to the academy. I do not have much information regarding that, so I will not go through it. And this is the final certificate which you will get after the uh, end of this fellowship, after your hard work, after your lot of hard work and patience you will get this fellowship certificate which is very important if you are planning to do some research in advance planning to go for higher studies this will uh, provide you an age over others so this is the final certificate uh, in this year uh, your project name will be there your mode will be there and the duration will be there your guide name will be there like that this is the date you can see that 24 september 2020 so i think video has been quite long so uh, thank you for being with me till the end
so if you have any query please let me know in the comment section i have tried to come uh, cover most of the queries and most of the doubts which you might have right now so thank you for watching this video take care happy journey happy learning